like many of you, I use the top of my, my fence for storage. This was a great idea for a long time until that happened. Welcome to Victory Woodworks with Vic. I'm Vic. Today we're going to do a little project for the shop. Something to help the storage on top of my, uh, my fence here. So it'll be a whole lot safer and a little bit easier to use. What's interesting is for years I've done this. And then the other day my, my square fell down onto my saw. Good thing it wasn't on. Nobody was injured. But you know what? The potential for damage there was, was great. Potential for injury there was great also. So with that in mind, we're going to see what we can do to figure out some sort of storage box and then maybe a side box to keep all of this stuff out here off the table and off potentially falling onto, uh, onto the cutting surface and injuring somebody or, or something. If we look at the top of the table saw uh, fence here, we got a lot of stuff on here. Some of this stuff probably doesn't even belong here, uh, but some stuff does or at least somewhere. So here we've got our splitter, got our little Wixley gauge to give us our little angles. We've got a square, large and small, depending on what we need. We have our shop glasses, which I think is kind of important to keep close at hand. Doesn't necessarily have to be on top, but it should be close by. We have two different uh, tape measures. Do we need two? No. We have uh, a little knife, a razor knife here. Helps with, with uh, putting the little um, score marks where you want to cut things. We have this sort of marking knife. Uh, we have a random piece of lumber that we don't need. And then we have a pencil. I think all of these things, if we were to organize them properly, would be actually very good. Oh, you know what else we need? A push stick or two of some sort. And then we have the uh, the old gripper. So if we could organize all of these somehow to fit on, let's say, up top here and there, but in a box, that's actually what we're going for. So again, channeling my inner Vanna, I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but I'll scan it and put it on the website and or the, the web video. What we have here is the box depicted on top of here with little compartments all on the side. Now, now let's see what we can do. Okay, so I've spent a little bit of time here trying to organize, you know, how I think I want everything laid out. So essentially, on top, what we're going to do is we're going to a little little trough, about three inches wide or so, and about 24 inches long. On this side, we're going to have some sort of box, you know, with some sort of sides coming up to, uh, I don't know, let's see what the height is there. Yeah, maybe three inches tall, with, with sides we can put the gripper out front here, easy to reach. We can get uh, my main push block or push stick right here up against this, maybe in a little compartment. Our secondary push stick right here. And then kind of outboard some of these smaller items. I'm not sure which direction I'm gonna face these in, but essentially we're, we're going to make little boxes, I guess, or, or cubes that we can put these things in with some of our marking knives and knives here. Up top, I'm going to keep my my safety glasses because I reach for those always first. A pencil, most likely my squares here, unless we figure out something over there. Angle gauge, and then the splitter. I'm going to see if I can figure out some way that we can shape some sort of holder for the splitter, so it's like this. That that's a general idea. So let's see what we can come up with. Okay, I was rummaging through a. Uh, the little wood pile there we have got this almost 24 inch by just over three inch half inch uh, piece of uh, plywood it has a cut in it but I don't think that's going to matter once we put some sort of uh, side on it that'll ride probably up here like this in this groove uh, and then what we'll do is we'll take another piece put it right on top glue these together and that'll make our upper deck and then we'll cut this off as it just goes past the edge of the fence. Um, we've got this other quarter inch piece of plywood, which we may use as some sort of dividers or something else for, for the rest of the box. 
got some other pieces there uh, on the side if we need it, but we'll see what happens. Okay, I think we uh, miscut the uh, previous piece. So here's our base piece that's gonna sit inside here. That'll keep us locked in. What we're gonna do is we're gonna lay this over the top and we're going to uh, glue it and probably tack it down with some, um, some brads. But what we're gonna do is have a little overhang. I don't know if you can see that. Let's bring you down over here. Got a little bit overhang. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the board at that overhang and uh, and that's where the side box is actually going to screw into this. So we're going to screw this way. What I'm going to do is take this little quarter inch piece of, of, of plywood, butt it up against the fence on this side, I'm going to clamp it in, so we're going to use that as our reference to the outside edge. This way, when we glue and screw on top here, we will reference the plywood edge so that we, we know we're perfectly flush up and down. We do the same thing on, on that side. Reference here to the front edge. Okay, this time I'm going to use a little Gorilla Glue. Kind of squeeze it on here and then and brush it out. Slot it down and just tap in a few brads. All right, let's see how we did. Oh, no way. All right, looks like we shot it right into our fence. That was, uh, that was a total boneheaded uh, maneuver there. Let's see if we can pull it out. Actually, before we pull it out, let's tap it in here. That is probably the stupidest thing I've done in a long time. Okay, now let's see if we can pull this thing out. There we go. So we can see the nails here. Uh, that shot right into the top of our fence. Try not to do that when you're doing this. For our next step, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create some sort of little barrier here so stuff can't fall over as easily. So I'm thinking something like this, but longer. So perhaps what we'll do is we'll take these, cut them to about, I don't know, three quarters of an inch, and just kind of wrap this side the left side here of the thing so that as we put things like this on here, which we may, it's not going to fall over as easily. Okay, what we're going to do is just tack this little piece here at the end. That'll be the top of our box. And then we'll start building the sides for the, uh, for the splitter holder. Just tack these down like this with the riving knife in the middle. And then that may, that may just be a better answer right there. Just tack it right in, down. Next, I'm just gonna finish off this one edge here to keep stuff from falling over this way. Okay, we're gonna trim out the opposite side. So again, stuff doesn't roll out. Just gonna mark the bottom here so we can cut it off. These should go here. Maybe do something like that, specific for the, uh, for the glasses. Okay, so measuring my glasses, they're about six inches. So if I cut this little piece here for the bottom, uh, for, for the bottom of the uh, trough here, and another one here about six inches apart, this might be a great place to keep them right there. So why don't we do that? So we now have the glasses here. Let me put my safeties back on. Maybe put another another box somewhere around here. Although for pencils, they can be different lengths. Maybe we'll make a separate box on that side. But we'll keep this, we'll keep the box here. Um, okay, final piece just to finish off the uh, upper box. 
will go right there. Just tack it down and avoid the fence. Let's put that right about in the middle. Oops, miss. Okay, so basically we've got our box here just sitting on the side. This is the way we want it to hang, just like this. So this is the way I'm thinking I'm going to attach it. We've got this little little cleat here. This is how it's going to hang. And what's going to happen is to make that cleat, think of it as almost a French cleat, I'm going to put it just like this. So these will all be lined up at the bottom. So the way to look at that is these two will be like this, glued like that. And then this is just going to hang on the cleat. Okay, so I've been playing around a little bit with the organization of all the pieces here. So what I've decided is this angle angle uh, block right here, the, the Wixley digital angle gauge, fits perfectly right there. That's a good spot for it. The, uh, the squares here, I'm thinking this one on the outside because it's a little taller. This one on the inside because it's a little shorter. What I'll do is I'll put in like a little filler somewhere in here just so it can't really move around. It can't pop out by accident. Then maybe I'll close off the little box here so they don't slide around. Although to be honest with you, this really doesn't slide in this direction. It may slide left to right. What I'm doing here with the push sticks and the uh, tape measures is I'm trying to figure out how these are gonna fit. So this one I kind of like up against the fence or the storage box. Uh, this one I kind of like like this. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this little spacer down so that it's got a positive stop or maybe the back is a positive stop. So I'll cut that down just a little bit. Leaves a little room here for something. I'm not 100% sure what that is, uh, but we'll, we'll do something, something there. Here what I'm doing, I'm going to cut this down to two inches so it matches the front piece and then close off the box here at two inches. So basically it'll be a two inch box all the way around. Now the question is, what do I do with the tape measures? Originally, I wanted them inside, so here it's possible I can put one inside like this. This is kind of small, but you can see the handle or this little clip gets in the way. So I'm also thinking of maybe putting a little piece of metal or something where these things can clip on the outside. Uh, or, or just tuck them in here into the box or whatever, I'm not, not really sure. I know the one will fit nicely. Uh, I'm not 100% sure what to do with this one. Although, since I was only using it for metric, maybe we'll just stick with the, uh, the old English units there, uh, or Imperial, and, and just put this aside and just put it in the drawer, so, something like that behind us. Okay, let's just glue this in. That looks to be about right, right there. Let's make sure. Yep, not a problem. What I'm going to do now is just tack this down. Looks good. Let's wipe off the glue. Because we've gotten glue all over everything. All right, there goes the Wixley. Here is the one right angle gauge or square. Here's the other square. That looks pretty good. Let's just slide this over, see if we can get our, our splitter out. And again, that's supposed to fit right here. Everybody has plenty of space. And looks like it works pretty good. Throw our pencils up in here. Uh, we have our knife. Again, we're starting to build up on top here, but that'll be all right. Okay, so what we've decided to do here is put our push stick here. I think I like this better. Maybe what we'll do is we'll, we'll cut down, if you can see in here, this to that that level and then this will fit right up against it just like that and we'll have an extra space there for for something long and narrow so what we've done is we've cut both of these same size this is going to go right there just like so I'm gonna glue that right on the line tack it down and then this one we'll figure out exactly where that one will go
test fit, make sure we did everything right. And you know what? We didn't. We didn't leave it enough space. Okay. Not sure what we did wrong there, but yes, another mistake was made. I think what happened was when we had this here, the box drifted away, and that made our little our little space there a little too small. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try this again. Hopefully we get it right this time. Okay, I'm gonna put it here. And we're gonna give it, there's a little line I made. Similar to the last line, but a little further out. So we have a little space in there. Let's just tack this straight down. All right, so here we go. We've got our box together. Fits nicely. So maybe what we do is something like this. Something like that to hold the block down and hold, hold it in. So, so we can just slide it in up under and uh, it works, that works for me. Okay, that's in. Let's just see, we've got enough space there. That looks good. And I'll just tap those in. That'll do that. Put our tape measure, whoop, put our tape measure back in. Got a little room here. That should just fit there. That'll fit there. So here it is. Let's load it up with some of our favorite uh, tools that normally ride up here. See that fits nicely over there. This can fit on either side. I'm not sure which side I like that better on. Got our little Wixley gauge here. Got a couple of pencils and other writing tools over here. We have our little uh, squares right there and then when we're not using the saw we've got our splitter right in there uh, our glasses safety glasses this little guy can fit perfectly in there and then the question is where do we put our our tape measure I'm thinking I'm gonna mount something here so it hangs over or maybe I'll just put it inside the box like this. We also have our our uh, razor knife here which to be honest I'm not sure why it's up here so maybe we'll just put that aside. Um, we do have this other push block which we can fit I don't know where. Does it fit there? Yeah, it'll fit right there. Perfect. Wasn't even planned for it. So we'll put that there and we'll figure out how we get this to mount right here so it's out of the way. But otherwise, I think we're in good shape here. I mean, we can still put this up here if we have to. Or put it right here is where I usually have it. So that may work. Maybe we'll, we'll do something here. Put it there, mount it. I'm not sure. But that's basically it. Thanks for watching. This is uh, Vic with Victory Woodworks. This was a fun project. This table saw caddy storage unit thingy. Um, had a lot of fun making it. It doesn't look that great, but you know what? Functionality is 100% there. You know what? It's shop furniture. Consider this a prototype for what we're going to do sometime in the future. Maybe what we'll do is we'll cut out some of these pockets on the old uh, CNC over here. Maybe, maybe we won't do anything. You know, a lot of these pro projects, even though they're, they're prototypes, or whatever, you kind of make them, you start using them, and you just never get around to remaking them. Well, we'll see, we'll see what happens. So if you like what you saw here, please like, subscribe, tell all your friends. See you in the next video.